And Pat McAfee asked him about last year's WrestleMania in LA. And that WrestleMania main event was Cody versus Roman. Roman beat Cody. And everybody was shocked by that. We were shocked by that. But Pat McAfee asked The Rock if he was supposed to be facing Roman. Because leading into last year's WrestleMania in LA, there were a lot of rumors that The Rock could face Roman in that mania. And it never happened. And Pat McAfee basically asked him, what happened with that moment? Here's the clip from the Pat McAfee show with The Rock. So that story was a big one. The Rock and Roman, SoFi, LA. How close? Did that ever, and was that close? All right. So The, the Rock uh, headlining WrestleMania was Roman Reigns, SoFi Stadium. Uh, that was locked. What? Oh. We were. D- <laughs> no way. We were doing it. They were doing it. Pause it right there. So he said, The Rock just says, last year in in LA, SoFi Stadium, it was going to be The Rock versus Roman Reigns. They were doing it. All right? They were doing it. So what happened? Why didn't The Rock fight Roman Reigns last year in LA? Well, he goes on to explain, and it does connect to everything that's going on right now, and I'll I'll let you know how, but here's The Rock explaining it. We were doing it. We were doing it, but let me just tell you, so... Uh, about in, in the beginning of 2022, um, Nick Khan, who we know, shout friend out to of ours, Nick, shout out very Nick. good friend, Dog. long time for years. Dog. Yeah. Uh, he's the man. He was very instrumental in bringing Vince and I together. We all flew to L.A. We met. We sat. This is the beginning in 2022. Pause it. Beginning and of 2022. The Rock, Nick Khan, Vince McMahon, they were all meeting. So beginning of 2022, that is... Before the WrestleMania, that was Cody Rhodes' yep. return to the WWE where he fought Seth Rollins, Seth. right? Yep. And I, won, I don't know if, it, if this meeting happened before that WrestleMania, around the time of that WrestleMania, right after that WrestleMania, either way, Vince McMahon and Cody Rhodes, like that, that there, agreement there was, was already there. was some there. agreement, so, yeah. so already there, Vince, when he has this meeting with The Rock... Already, Cody is in some type of mix in the main event scene because there's no way that Cody goes back to WWE without some without kind of, some type of assurance that he's going to be involved in the in the main. And there's no way that Vince McMahon is bringing him back and letting him keep his logos and keep his music. They had big plans for Cody, so that was all in the mix with this meeting. Vince, Nick Khan, The Rock, beginning of 2022, they meet, and here's what they talk about. Broke out <laughs> Terra Mana, we toasted life, yeah, toasted yeah. the business we love, and about an hour later, we started talking about the potential of what this match could be between myself and Roman Reigns headlining WrestleMania at SoFi. And we shook hands and we hugged right there, all three of us at the table, and said, let's do this. And so the North Star, though... Here so we go, we pause it right here. there. So they agreed to it. They had this meeting at the beginning of 2022, Nick Khan, The Rock, and Vince McMahon, and they agreed that it was going to be in L.A., WrestleMania 39, The Rock versus Roman Reigns. But The Rock is about to tell you why it ended up not happening. Think about this. So the North Star thought was, okay, let's not do something good. Let's not do something great. Let's do something unprecedented. And it was in what can we create for the fans that has never been done before. A match, great. Roman, incredible athlete. He's going to be on Mount Rushmore. Super handsome. Right. Super handsome. Good dude. My cousin, family. It's amazing. We can have the match, but the bigger thought was, what can we do for the fans in this business that we love that will, uh, where, where WrestleMania isn't the end of something, it's actually the beginning of something. Pause. Think about what he just said right there. He said, we didn't, so we were thinking about how can we do this match where it's not the end of something, but it's the beginning of something bigger. Now, what do you think of when he says that? It feels like he's telling us there that every bit of their plan. It feels like he's, that's exactly what he's doing. Almost spoiler alert level. Spoiler alert. (laughs) He wasn't doing last year's mania because they didn't really, it did not come together. I I have to, I have to backtrack just for a second real quick. What happened at last year's Mania that I told you why, why Cody Rhodes did not win that championship? I don't remember. The Endeavor sale. Oh, oh yeah, which yeah. Which created oh. TKO, yeah, yeah. which is who now The Rock is on the board of. Which makes perfect sense at the time, because you're like, why, why not just lead with stars? Why are we doing this to, to board members? But Endeavor, they bought the WWE. Right then. Yeah. And, and around, right at the beginning of WrestleMania, they didn't want to 
as The Rock says, Shake the boat. have a new beginning yeah. inside the WWE. When you buy that company, no, you want the guy who you know it's working with in Roman Reigns, your yeah. superstar of superstars. You want him to remain the champ at the beginning of the sale, of course. So you don't want to do something new yeah. and different and have that, that new beginning. And so The Rock is explaining all of that stuff was going on. That's why he didn't do this match. But let him explain even further. So what happened? Great question, too. <laughs> so, so what happened? We got really, really close, but we couldn't actually yeah. nail what yeah. that thing was. So we decided to put our pencils down, and then we agreed. Hey, listen, there's, uh, there is a merger coming up. Eventually that will happen. There's WrestleMania in Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's the eyebrow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All right, pause it. Pause it. So he mentions the Endeavor sale, which basically he, he's telling you without telling you that's why yeah. it didn't happen because The Rock was only going to get involved if they were going to do something different, something new. He, he's basically telling you he's not going to come back and do this with Roman Reigns if it's just The Rock comes back. It's an obvious loss because you know he's not winning the title. Yeah. It's got, there's got to be a different It'll element. It'll be a real point thing. for him to come back. And so, yeah. what's that different element? Cody Rhodes, right? But they couldn't make, they couldn't do it last year with Cody and do the title switch because of what he just said, the Endeavor sale. Yeah. So, they were going to do it. And Pat McAfee's like, what happened? And The Rock's like, well, we had the Endeavor sale. And it think- confirms my theory of why Cody lost last year. Yeah. It confirms my theory as to why The Rock is going to be involved in the main event of this year's WrestleMania, but it's also going to include Cody Rhodes. Like, it, he's telling you that. He always has, yeah. He's telling you that. He was only going to come back and do this match if it included something different, something special. Not the end to something, but a new beginning. What's I, that new beginning? A Cody Rhodes title reign. Yeah. And that's how they sold it to Cody last year. Do you remember we said that last year? How the hell did they end up selling this to Cody where he has to lose again? This is how they sold it to him. And Cody's like, I like that idea. Yeah. That sounds cool. That's could, real legacy Cody, shit we too. can't do it now because the Endeavor sale and they want to keep Roman as the champion right now. That's just business. And then you say, but here's what we want to give you. But we're going to do this thing with The Rock next year and we're going to lead up to it. And here's Rock in September, yeah. five months ago, explaining it. Let him keep going. What are you saying? Whoa. I'm saying, I'm Whoa. saying that that's a potential too. So I'm, I'm okay. open, open, open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. But again, let's figure out what that is because the fans deserve something just incredible and unprecedented. And not only that, but also want to deliver to the locker room and the boys and the, and the girls back there are working their asses off. What can we do to put them in a position where they're part of something that is a new change, an era? A new world, change right? and a new era in this world of pro wrestling. He is telling you he's not coming back to face Roman Reigns and lose in the main event, which would be the most obvious result of that yeah. potential match, which is why I told you it doesn't make sense that they, they're going to do that for a title. And so they're not going to do it for a title. And The Rock is telling you he was only going to come back if there could be, so, could be something different, something special, the beginning of something, the beginning of a new era, not just for the fans, but the people in the room. What's he telling you? He's telling you he's only going to come back if he's involved in Roman Reigns losing the championship. The Rock isn't winning the championship. The Rock is now involved in a situation where Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 is going to lose the championship to a new era in Cody Rhodes, and then what's going to happen? Then you get The Rock versus Roman Reigns either in Saudi Arabia later oh, later this year for that yeah. Saudi money, yeah. or WrestleMania 41 next year, which they're now saying could be in Vegas. Oh, it was supposed to be that. in Minnesota, but they had this press conference in Vegas, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, with the UFC and, and TKO... It's a it, whole new world. Like... Yeah. If it's in Vegas next year, the main event is going to be Roman Reigns versus The Rock. No championships, but for the head of the table. Who Who is the head of the table? Who's the leader of the bloodline? And that's a match they could have The Rock win. Yeah. Or maybe... That's the thing. I don't even know who would win that match if there's no title. And they, that that's what they want to get to. But The Rock told you in September on ESPN, looking at Pat McAfee, he told you. I mean, I almost want to play this again, but I don't want to put everybody through that audio. But it, I've watched this multiple times, and what he is doing back in September is telling you why he didn't do the match last year against Roman Reigns. 
and by default telling you why he is doing it this year. And so when people say, oh, the fans were so outraged, they, they made the WWE change plans and put Cody back in the main event. No, 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 no. Watch The Rock and Pat McAfee, and you, you will... It will. It comes out of the rock's mouth. We just watched it. He explains and breaks down exactly what's going to happen. Spoiler alert. He just basically <laughs> tells you that, tells you that Cody Rhodes is going to win the championship. 